Welcome back, legends. I hope you're all fantastic. Today on 5 Minute Licks, I've got the Yngwie Strat out, which means we're going to do some neoclassical shred, but we're not going to do an Yngwie lick. I want to show you a sequence that I personally use to basically maintain my sweet picking chops, and it was one of the very first sweet picking kind of combo moves that I could ever do. We're going to look at an example by Jason Becker and an example by Jeff Loomis. And I heard these two examples uh, not far apart from one another. I think I got Jason perpetual burn album maybe when I was in year 10 so somewhere around 2003 and then a year or two after that Nevermore's This Godless Endeavor came out it is still one of my favorite albums from that entire era and the song The Psalm of Lydia has one of my favorite sweep intros of all time so having said that I should probably try and play the little sequence from Altitudes as well as a bit of the intro of Psalm of Lydia <laughs> Now, of course, both Jeff and Jason are absolute sweep masters. They not only make it look effortless, they've actually boiled the technique down to the point where it is effortless because you can't get that sound by straining. And basically the core principle that I wanna show you here is taking a five string sweep shape. For example, Jason uses this E minor shape here, which a lot of people learn as their first sweep shape. Jeff is taking a G minor shape around the sixth and 10th frets, although I suspect he's actually tuned down on that song. So it's probably either an A minor or an A flat minor. Don't worry too much about it because I'm gonna show you just one shape in a second. But basically you'll notice Jason starts with a three string shape and then transitions into a five string shape and Jeff does the opposite. He does the five string first up and then into the three. So you get that really cool extended multi octave bubbly kind of sweet picking sound, but because you're playing so fast and your ear is, you know, pretty good at tracking where the high note is on something, you get that high note occur, you know, more often when you do the three string shape than the five string shape. So you get this kind of quasi accelerated sound, even though you're playing the same subdivision. So what we're gonna do is take an A minor shape and we'll use fret 12 on the E string, pulling off to fret eight on the E string, then it's fret 10 on the B, 9 on the G, 10 on the D, and then it is fret 12 pulling off to fret 7 on the A. That's a big stretch there. And what I find with a lot of people who struggle with sweep picking is actually not your right hand that's holding you back, it's your left hand. So one thing you can do is just kind of sit there and try to tap these notes out with your left hand. Don't worry if it sounds like utter garbage. Uh, you just want to get your fingers in the right place. And then you can kind of think of your right hand as just shepherding your fingers and kind of cleaning everything up. And remember when you're sweeping, just think of it as an extended rest stroke and not a bunch of down or up strokes. So let's take that five string shape real quickly. <laughs> So the Jason Becker way would be to play the three string part of it. And what you need to focus on here is getting a downstroke on that G string note there, play that twice, then play the full five string shape like this. <laughs> And I'm sure Jason does stuff where he does the five string shape first and then the three string shape. But that lick at the start of Psalm of Lydia does five and then three. So it's kind of a more extreme sound to me, whereas the three then five, I don't know, it's just got a different sound. I study this stuff a lot, I'm a nerd. So are you, that's why you're watching this. <laughs> I'll play this at the same tempo, just doing the five string shape, then I'll do the combo and hopefully you'll hear what I mean. <laughs> I'm not the world's 
best sweet picker, but that's kind of what I rely on when I want to get that awesome bubbly multi-octave arpeggio sound. Anyway, if you have any further comments, let me know in the comments section below. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the video description. If you want to talk about this lick more, feel free to come over to the Discord and have a chat. That is also linked in the video description. Most importantly, uh, go and listen to those two songs, Altitudes by Jason Becker, an absolute masterpiece, and The Psalm of Lydia by Nevermore, one of my favorite kind of like progressive power thrash songs of all time. Hope you have a fantastic evening and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.